Comrades, thank you very much. Uh, uh, let me start first by greeting uh, all of you, comrades, uh, including our friends uh, from Palestine. Uh, Salam alaikum, uh, Sheikh uh, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah Rahmat. Let me acknowledge His Excellency. Uh, for, for some of you may not know, uh, our relationship with the Palestinians did not start now, comrades. It started with the Three Doctors Pact in the late 40s, when uh, on behalf of the Natal Indian Congress, the Transvaal Indian Congress, and the Cape Congress, uh, uh, we were introduced to Islam as a religion, but also as part of our struggle, uh, uh, led by uh, Dr. Yusuf Dadu. Uh, so, we have had a relationship, a very good one, with the uh, community from Islam, but uh, extended also to our friends in Palestine and the broader Middle East. Uh, my commissar who's coming to present the lecture will deal with the rest of the ANC policies uh, positions related to our relationship with Palestine, including the fact that we must have an independent state of Palestine, a uh, self-governing state, uh, that has been part of the resolutions we have taken as the ANC since the unbending. Now, comrades, I want to acknowledge also the uh, Mohammed Dissa, our national convener of the BDS in South Africa. I know, of course, uh, that you know, sometimes when you attend events of the BDS, we get to be taking photos. By the time we want to go to Palestine, when we cross in borders of Israel, as the leadership of the ANC, we are given trouble. Because in a certain date, you address the meeting of the BTS in Clarkstone. Uh, you become part of the list of terrorists uh, uh, in their neighboring state that they've spoken about earlier on. So uh, DSG, you must be careful. Whatever you may say today uh, may be misconstrued by the oppressor, that, uh, that side. So by the time you want to visit Palestine, you'll be a listed terrorist. They will give you hell in those borders. Uh, that's what they do uh, with the leadership of the ANC. But we are not afraid, comrades. This is a struggle we have, take, we have consciously taken a decision to support because the Palestine, Palestinians would know they've been with us uh, throughout uh, the thick and things that we had with the apartheid government. And it can't be us who say no to them. When is their turn to get our support and solidarity? Uh, we are also doing this with the Southern Sahara people uh, in North Africa, with other oppressed nations in the world. Uh, it's our position. So, Comrades, uh, we are not going to be intimidated uh, by, <laughs> by the Israeli regime. <laughs> Already the ambassador of Israel is on Twitter criticizing this gathering. Yeah, so... We are saying to his informers who are inside here, let him go to the nearest hell. <laughs> so, South Africa for South Africans. South Africans can do what they want, what they, they decide in their own home country. Yeah, yeah so, so we wanted to tell you, comrades, if they are amongst us here, people who are agents for the Israeli government, you can send a message to your masters that we are not going to be afraid, yes. we are not going to panic, yes. we are clear in our own consciousness, like our leader has said. Yes. Ours is a fight against human rights atrocities. Yes. So we are not going to back off, we are moving forward, forward ever, backward never. Thank you.